Okay, great. So we're going to do a long graduation haircut. So when you've done your consultation with your client, make sure that their hair is in the natural parting. Then section from the crown into the nape. A small section across along the hairline, no more than an inch in depth. And then the same on the other side. So you've got nice, clean, neat sections. Pop the client's head slightly forward. Maintain the tension, making sure the hair is even from point to root. A naught degree angle, and we're going to take an inch off using our club cutting technique. So we start from the middle and work our way out to the side. Then to cross check that the hair's level, pull down from each side and into the middle. If there's any stray end, just nip those off. So then we take our next section across. Again, maintaining the tension from root to point. Down to the end, naught degree angle, straight across. And the same on the other side. And again, check when you're happy they're level, proceed. Take your next section from the top of the crown. Back, lifting the head up straight. Maintain down. And because the hair's already layered, there'll be minimal to come off. Then you come onto the sides, so you're taking horizontal, horizontal section across, combing the hair down, naught degree angle and maintaining the tension. Because the hair's already been shaped around the front, there's nothing to come off here. And just continue through the top. If the hair hasn't already been shaped around the face, just carry the sections through. And then the same on the other side. Again. There's nothing to come off. So now you've got your one length cut all around. We're going to give our guideline for our layers. So if you section me from the top of the crown, level with the back of the ear on both sides. Take a horseshoe section at the top of the crown, no more than an inch in depth. Hold the hair taut, and depending on how short your client wants their layers on this section, is to how short you're going to cut your initial guide. So we're going to take an inch off, and we're going to club cut our guide. So now we're going to pick up some of the hair that we've just cut on the top and some of our length from the bottom and we're going to angle up, let some of the hair come underneath drop so you know you're not cutting your guide and cut the hair that's in between and repeat on the other side. Hair's dropping, so we know we're not cutting the length. There's our initial guide. We're angling it so that they meet, and we're keeping the tension and cutting the hair in the middle. Then we're going to start doing orange segment sections through the back to make our guide here and our guide here meet. So we're going to work through the hair, picking up our orange segment section. Lifting the hair up, the length dropping. 
There's our guide that we've just cut, and we're going to plug cut to make the guides meet. Don't let too much hair drop, otherwise you will end up with a weight line at the bottom. So you need to just let a small amount of hair drop so that you know you're not cutting into the guide. And then cut to make your guides meet. So you're going to do this all the way through the back section. Make, taking clear sections, maintaining the tension. Our lens dropping, and there's our guide. Okay, so when you're happy that the back section's done, pull in the same areas on the opposite sides of the head out, and we're checking for length. And if you lift the hair, we're checking for balance. When you're happy with that, we're going to move on to the sides. Because the hair's shaped onto the face, we're going to take diagonal sections from our guide at the crown forward onto the face. We're going to lift up, let a small amount drop, adjust our angle to meet our guide, and then plug cut. And we're going to work this all the way to the front. Small amount of length dropping and making our guides meet. When you've done that, if you section from the top of the crown to the back of the ear, pull that front quarter section forward onto the face. This is going to depend where your client wants their shortest point. So try and use points on the face as your guide. So we're going to say she wants it to a chin. So we're going to take from the crown to the back of the ear. Pull that whole front quarter section forward. Maintain the tension. You can use a razor for this. If you are using a razor, it's on wet hair. Or you can slice through using your scissors. So slice and stretch, stretch forward, forward, forward. Don't cut your length and let the hair drop. If you're not confident using that technique, pick up the front section again. Angle it right forward onto the face and you can use the chipping in technique. Once you've done that, if you feel that the hair's too bulky and you want to take some weight out, you can either use thinning scissors or you can hold the hair and you can slice through using your point cutting and your slicing technique. When you're happy that you've done that side, we're going to move on to the other side. And again, we're going from the crown diagonal sections forward onto the face, picking up some of the hair that we previously cut. We're going to lift up. Our legs dropping, there's our guide that we cut for our layers at the back section and blend. And again, we're going to work that forward to the front. Our guide, our legs dropping that we cut and forward. Pull the hair back, pick up the hair. Through, angle to make your guys meet. And again, once you've done that, as you can see, our client's got a side fringe. So we've cut the hair in the parting. We're going to section from the crown to the back of the ear again. And we're going to slice through, taking off the ends all the way through that front section. Remember to keep the hair stretched forward, otherwise if you drag it back you're going to take too much length off and create steps in the hair. And on the bottom bit, if you prefer, angle it right round and just chip in, taking the ends off. 
make it meet from the fringe to the length. When you're happy with the length on the side, just cross check through the top section, holding the hair straight up, maintain tension, and it should be minimal to come off to make your sides meet. So you can chip in at this point. to make sure that they're even length and through the back. If you're finding that one side's particularly shorter than the other, then come round, take your angles and adjust accordingly to the client's requirements. And there you have it, it's your long graduation haircut. <laughs>